we're starting chapter three. This is the introduction to chapter three. For the first time, we're creating uh, our own classes from scratch. Remember chapter one, we did Hello World, which was just the main routine, our main f method. In chapter two, we constructed objects from existing classes, like the rectangle class, and the uh, random class, and the string class, and all that fun stuff. But what if there is some object for which that you want to, to program that a class doesn't exist already? All right, so we have to create a class from scratch. Now, I'll call that a derived class because it's derived from existing code in Java. Uh, other classes you can put together. But first, we have to talk about the difference between a tester class and a derived class. A testing class is sort of like what we did in Chapter 2. We're using objects from a class. But it's testing a class that doesn't exist in Java. It's something we just made up from scratch. So we're going to have two files. One is a tester class, and one is the derived class. OK, so let's try that. All right, so we're all uh, shushed in here. And let's create a Chapter 3 folder. In Chapter 3, uh, let's create a, a file called cache register tester. I'm going to create a cache register class. OK, so cache register tester dot Java. And this is just like a Hello World program. OK, it just has a main in it. All right, how about um, the class itself? Let's call it cache register dot Java. All right, so let's start with the test. I always like to start with the tester to organize what I want uh, my class methods to look like. Um, let's make a little header comment here. Let's see, cache register tester dot Java is the name of the file. Your name goes here, and the date. And it's a little out of sequence. Uh, I'm re-recording today's class, so it's October 6th. OK. Purpose is to test my own class. I'm going to create my own class from scratch for once. All righty. Uh, required files. will be this file. I'll call that the main class. And this file, we'll call that the derived class. OK. Uh, what's your Java C line? Translator phase goes like this, Java C the tester, and if everything is in the same folder, these two files, it'll compile or Java C both, uh, cache register tester and cache register Java, if we create cache register objects in the tester file. So that's the only Java C line you need. Interpreter, and uh, we'll simulate a JVM or JRE with Java, and cache register tester. Remember, that's a dot .class file that gener that's generated by the Java C command line, but you don't write dot .class here. Okay, we're not going to import anything like rectangle or anything because we're, we're using our own class from scratch. We're going to write it here in the same uh, directory. So what are we going to say here? Let's just go straight to the main method. Main method. So we're, if we're, okay, so it's public class, cache register tester. And it's public, static, void main, string, array, args. OK. We're not using args input. Well, so we're testing the cache register class, so let's create a cache register object. Cache register, I don't know, Bob, equals new cache register. Now, I'm going to make this without any input parameters because I'm just going to zero out the purchases on the cache register. That's all that constructor is going to do. So this is our constructor. That's the same name as the class, the same name as the file, okay, when we write it, okay? Uh, let's create, well, let's record some purchases. Let's say you're, you're at the cache register and you're scanning in the purchase, right? So let's say Bob.record purchase. 
I don't know, twenty nine ninety five. Oh, twenty nine fifty, whatever. Let's say we do another one. Bob dot record purchase. And then system dot out dot print line. Uh, let's see, total purchase equals Bob dot get purchase. So this constructs the register, just initializes the purchases to zero. This uh, increments the purchase variable by this amount, by this amount, okay? And then we can see what the total is, Bob dot get purchases. How about that? Purchase. How about purchase? Okay, so let's say that stands for the total purchase. Then let's say we want to enter a payment. Bob dot enter payment. And let's print out the total purchases now. I'm sorry, no. Let's print out how much change you have to get. How about that? Whoops. Get change. So that's it. There's my tester, and that's all the methods I want, okay? I need a constructor, I need a mutator, I need an accessor, and another accessor, okay? This will mutate the, uh, the pri private instance field, my purchase. This will mutate uh, my payment, and this will be the difference. This is a running sum, running total, okay? Now, to get this working, all I need you to do is get this much running right now. Incremental coding. Let's do the minimum we need to do. A constructor, a mutator, and an accessor. You could even live without this for now. Just get these two working first. Okay? So we'll save that. And we're done with the tester.